Welcome to this screencast of Ancient Greece's Governments. We're going to talk about uh, monarchy first today. Now, because settlements were separated from each other because of the mountainous terrain in, in ancient Greece, they did not see themselves as one country. They better identified themselves with their own city, and thus we call them city-states. Now, each city-state had its own laws, armies, money, and most importantly, its own form of government. They were fiercely proud of their city-state. We will look at the four types of government that developed in the ancient Greek city-state. They were monarchy, oligarchy, tyranny, and democracy. In a, in a monarchy, one person inherited power. From about 2000 to 800 BC, most Greek city-states were ruled by a monarchy or a king. In a monarchy, the ruling power is in the hands of one person, usually a king, but it could be a queen or even an empire, an emperor, and they held all the power. The first Greek city, uh, Greek kings were chosen by the people of a city-state. When a king died, another leader was selected to take his place. Eventually, though, kings demanded that their power go to their children after their death. Usually their oldest son, in a monarchy then, rulers inherited their power. The kings of ancient Greece had many powers. They made laws and acted as judges. They conducted religious ceremonies. They even had, they even led the army during wars. They used armed soldiers to punish people who disobeyed the laws and, or didn't pay their taxes. Kings had councils of aristocrats to advise them. The word aristocrat is formed from a Greek word that means best. To the Greeks, the best people were wealthy men who had inherited large pieces of land. At first, councils of aristocrats had no real power, but kings depended upon aristocrats for help during wars, since only the wealthy could afford horses and army, armor. The aristocrats soon realized that as a group they were stronger than the king. They wanted a share in the king's power. In some city-states, aristocrats assisted that the king should be elected instead of inheriting the crown. Then they said the king could rule only for a certain number of years. Eventually, aristocrats in most city-states overthrew the monarchy and took the power for themselves. By 800 BC, kings no longer ruled most Greek city-states. 